Welcome everyone to my presentation on how to crack wireless networks and how to prevent people from cracking yours. Here is some information about cracking a web secured wireless network. If you don't feel like reading the whole slide, at least take the time to understand what an initialization vector or IV is. It is a three byte vector that is placed onto packets and is based on a pre-shared key that all authenticated users know. The idea behind cracking a web network is to collect as many IVs as possible. Placing your wireless card into monitor mode is not easy. I will not be showing you how to do this since I must leave a little for you to research on your own. Monitor mode can only be enabled on a wireless card and not on a laptop with the Intel Centrino chipset or anything like that. Monitor mode is much easier to attain if you are using Linux instead of Windows. Here's an example of what AeroDump or Kismet will display after you run one of them when your wireless card is in monitor mode. Highlighted in red is the important information we will need. The BSS ID is the MAC address of the access point. The number in the data column is the number of IVs that we captured and the channel is the final piece of information we will need. The other information is useless to us and it is only used for more malicious attacks on a network. Next, we move on to cracking. This is a screenshot of AirCrack. Once the information gathered from AeroDump is fed into AirCrack, the program will return the web key that is being used on that network. If you look at the top, the program yielded the key in three seconds with over one million IVs. WPA cracking is much more difficult since it is based on real words. WPA keys can be created that are impractical to crack. You must have a dictionary word list at your disposal to crack a WPA secured network.
That wraps up the information on how to crack wireless networks. Now we will move on to how to prevent these attacks from happening to your networks. Here are the top three reasons why you should secure your network. Number one, your network resources are exposed to unknown users. Number two, your network traffic can be captured and examined. And finally, number three, your internet connection can be used for illegal, immoral, or objectionable activities. The following countermeasures can be used to prevent unwanted intruders using your network. Change the default settings on your router. Disable the SSID broadcast. Turn off your network when not in use. MAC address filtering. And finally, encryption. Thank you for watching this presentation. This video has been produced for educational and informational purposes only. The producer will not be held liable for any damage caused by this guide. For more information, search Google.